Hey guys, uh, welcome to Stout Advice. I was driving in the car earlier today and, and I realized my mind was completely wandering into negative thoughts. And I felt like that should be the message today. I think so many times we allow negative things, negative events, negative people to continue to rob our minds of very valuable space. Right? There's only so many thoughts in a day one can have, only so many moments that we can capitalize on. Why not have great moments? Why not have great thoughts? Not everything we do in life is going to be great. Not every phone call we get is going to be wonderful. We've all had the phone call, right, where, hey, we need to talk. Well, very rarely does that end in something good, right? We get that, hey, we need to talk. That's typically uh, leads to, you know, a bad sentence is coming next or a bad paragraph is coming next. And I think we've all had moments where we've had a bad phone call, a bad moment, a bad personal interaction with a human being, right? And what happens is we typically allow those moments in life to rob us of valuable mind space not only at the, then, but in the future. And I think we should all take stock of that, right? What is the inventory that we're allowing to, to, to capitalize on our mind space? Think of a, a building. Um, we have an indoor baseball facility at Premier Baseball Academy, and we've got inventory in there. Well, there, there's, there's a limited amount of space. You've got 20,000 square foot of space. That's a lot of space, but there's only so much inventory you can put in there. And if you have bad inventory in there, it's occupying room that good inventory could be occupying. Our minds work the same way. You can have good thoughts or you can have bad thoughts and it's very important that we take stock and in inventory of the thoughts that are protruding our mindset on a day in, day out basis. I know I'm guilty of finding myself at times driving down the road just replaying a bad phone call, right? And, and hammering my points across while I'm driving down the road. And, and it's so stupid, but we all do it. And so regardless of your age, regardless of your background, you could be a teenager, you could be a grandparent, doesn't matter. I think we could all work on the inventory in our minds. So action item number one, what's, what's, what's taking hold of your mind? Negative thoughts, write them down. Whatever the negative things are, right? Maybe past experiences that they keep coming up in your mind over and over and over again. Write down whatever those negative things are. The second thing we wanna do, the section, second action item, is we're gonna let those things go. And I don't mean this to sound corny, I'm being real with you here, we need to let them go. You know, we've all heard the word forgiveness. Well, forgiveness is, 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 is not just some practical thing that we just think about, okay? Obviously it's a biblical principle, but forgiveness is very important because not only do we forgive those that have wronged us or we feel have wronged us, most importantly what we're doing in that moment is we're allowing that negative inventory in our minds to be cleared out. We're having a clearance sale on all those negative thoughts. And that way we can replenish our inventory with great thoughts. Go out and make it a great day. Thanks and God bless.